If you want to create a hologram for your futuristic sci-fi cyberpunk environment or you just want to add a hologram to your scene, you don't want to spend hours on the shader note editor trying to figure out how to make a good looking hologram. You also don't want to make a mediocre one with two notes and call it a day. So you either going to waste a lot of time on the shader or have a less eye-catching render because of a hologram. So in this video I'm going to show you a blender materials bag that allow you to have tons of hologram materials in a click of a button. The asset kit is called cyber holograms and cyber holograms is a pack of holographic materials available in two versions. The first version is for extreme PBR nexus add-on and the other version is for the asset browser. They both include the same packages and all materials are procedural, animated and work perfectly on EV and Cycles rendering engines. The material pack allows you to turn your animated model into holograms with one click. All materials are procedurally animatable and editable and they have been made to work well in both EV and Cycles. And all of the materials in the Asset Browser version are also supplied with a gradient to perform an animation of sliding mixed material. If you use Cyber Holograms in Extreme PBR Nexus, this will be much easier. All the materials are ready. Also in the version for Blender Asset Browser, the materials are organized with tags and categories. The Extreme PBR Nexus version includes an expansion pack. This is very convenient for Extreme PBR Nexus owners. All materials are well organized in the Extreme PBR panel and they are easily editable thanks for a special handmade design for each layout. I know some people are going to be confused about the two versions, so here are the main differences between the Asset Browser version and the Extreme PBR Nexus add-on version. So the Extreme PBR Nexus you will not need to enter the node shader editor to edit holograms. Here is an example of the difference of a material handled by Extreme PBR Nexus and Blender's normal shader editor. And here is an example of applying cyber holograms with Blender Asset Browser and applying hologram with Extreme PBR Nexus. And here is another example with shader overlays into Extreme PBR Nexus add-on which allow you to mix the base material with the hologram you applied. I also forgot to say that the package includes 6 different types of hologram light beams to simulate a projector. You can easily apply them to cones or cylinders objects to have the cone of light effect. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.